Now next questions like the value of sin x is given 4 upon 5. The value of sin x is given 4 upon 5 and the question is saying x lie in second quadrant. X lie in second. X means this angle lie in which quadrant? Second quadrant. So as you know the concept of this quadrant A, S, T, C. Second itself belongs to sin. That is why it is positive. So X lie in second quadrant. Find the value of sec theta plus tan theta. First of all this is 4 upon 5. We will draw a triangle like this is 4. And this is 5. Perpendicular upon hypotenuse. The base is coming 3. Base is coming 3. Now we want the value of sec theta. Sec x sorry. It is sec x and tan x. So we want the value of sec x. Sec means base upon hypotenuse. The value of base is 3. Hypotenuse 5. But here one thing is important. x lies second quadrant. And sec is not belongs to the second quadrant. That's why we will put minus sign here. Similarly, tan x, the value of tan is 4 upon 3, that is perpendicular upon base. Again, tan is not belongs to second quadrant because second is sine and cosec. So again, it is minus. Now, substitute the value of here. Sec is minus 3 by 5 and it is minus 4 by 3. The LCM is 15, 5, 3, it is minus 9, 3, 5, 20. So, it is minus 29 by 15. This is the answer. Now one more question is suppose a question is given cos x is given minus 3 by 5. Cos x is given minus 3 by 5 and find the value of find the value of cosec theta plus cot theta. This is the question. In a previous question you will see sin x is given 4 upon 5 and it mentioned x lie in second quadrant. In this question, it is not mentioned in which coordinate it will be like. But the value of cos is coming negative. So according to the concept of this quadrant A, means all positive, S, sin and cos, T, tan and cot, and C, cos and sec. Cos is coming negative. So A means all positive. The first quadrant contain all the ratio are positive. And cos is negative which quadrant? Either in second quadrant, either in third quadrant. So we will give the preference to the second quadrant. So that's why we can judge here the value of cos x is minus 3 by 5. It is negative. So x lie in second quadrant. So sometimes the question is given in this such a manner. Ki mention x lie in which quadrant. Sometimes it is not mentioned. So we can identify according this is quadrant rule. So again I repeat. The value of cos x is minus 3 by 5. It's negative. So cos is negative in which quadrant? Second and third because first quadrant all positive and fourth quadrant itself belongs to cos. That's why we cannot take first and fourth to so second and third quadrant. In these two quadrant cos is negative. So we will give the preference to the second one because you are moving in anti-clockwise direction the first preference. It is coming first, it is coming second. So giving the preference to first quadrant this that is why x is taking as second quadrant. So now again we will draw a triangle. This is base hypotenuse. So perpendicular is coming 4. So now cosec theta. It is taken as theta. Cosec theta. Cosec means hypotenuse upon perpendicular. So 5 upon 4. Since x lies in second quadrant, that is why cosec is positive. Now cot theta. Cot means base upon perpendicular, it's 3 upon 4, but cot is not lying in second quadrant, that's why it's negative. So we want 5 by 4 minus 3 by 4, it is 2 by 4 which gives 1 by 2. So this is the way we can find the value of the t ratios with the help of the quadrant root. Very important concept. Now, some more questions. Yesterday given the assignment and there is a problem in the assignment is like the value of cos square 66 minus sin square 6. 
this is given this is a problem sin square 6 so when you are moving towards more about the trigonometry to so the are formulas like sin a plus b so this is again you know there is a formula of cos square a minus sin square b so this is a formula of cos a plus b dot cos a minus b this is a formula so this can be write cos 66 plus 6 and cos 66 minus 6 it is cos 72 and it is cos 60 so 60 is the standard numerical value the standard angle it gives value but 72 is not a standard numerical value so it can be write 90 minus 18 and it is 1 by 2 cos 90 minus theta sin theta sin 18 into 1 by 2 so yesterday I explained in the class the value of sin 80 please learn it again root 5 minus 1 by 4 so we can write directly root 5 minus 1 by 4 into 1 by 2 so the result is root 5 minus 1 by 8 so this is the way we can find the value of these when you remember the formula everywhere in trigonometry formula is very important make it a chart of formula put it your on your study table and start learning daily you will observe so that some more some formulas you can directly recall now suppose there is a one more good question it's cosec theta minus cot theta the value of cosec theta and cot theta is given 3 by 2 this is given cosec theta minus cot theta is given 3 by 2 question saying find find cos theta this formula can this question can be given in this manner also sec theta minus tan theta is given suppose 2 by 3 find the value of find the value of cos theta and whatever this is a way so now this is a very good question the concept of this question and this question are same it is cosec theta minus cot theta if you see the this question very carefully cosec and cot are connected with their trigonometry identity similarly sec and tan also connected with the trigonometry identity so we know that cosec square theta minus cot square theta is 1 similarly in this case we can write sec square theta minus tan square theta is 1 so this can be written in two ways cosec theta plus cot theta and the second bracket cosec theta minus cot theta is equal to 1 since the value of cosec theta cot theta is given 3 by 2 to so we will substitute here cosec theta plus cot theta when we put 3 by 2 and shift it to other side become 2 by 3 so this is taken as equation number 1 this is taken as equation number 2 so like x minus y x plus y simultaneously we can solve these two equations so when adding adding equation 1 and 2 minus cot theta plus cot theta can be cancelled so it becomes 2 cosec theta is equal to 3 by 2 plus 2 by 3 it's 6 2 3 9 3 2 4 it is 2 cosec theta is 9 by 2 cosec theta is equal to 13 by 6 so the value of cosec theta is 13 by 12 now you will observe here the value of cosec is coming positive so either this value lie in first quadrant or second quadrant we will give the preference to the first quadrant the value of cosec theta is 13 by 12 draw the triangle like this 13 is the hypotenuse 12 is the perpendicular so with the help of Pythagoras theorem the base is coming 5 and we want the value of cos theta since it is coming positive let us so it is taken at its line which quadrant first quadrant so the value of cos theta the value of cos theta is based upon hypotenuse is 12 by 5 so this is one answer but if the second answer we can also write since cosec is positive and cosec lie in which quadrant second quadrant also in second quadrant cosec is positive but cos is negative so the value of cos theta is minus 12 by 5 so both are the answer until unless it is not defined in which quadrant it will be lie so this and in the same manner this question can be solved like sec theta plus tan theta and sec theta minus tan theta to find the value of this cos theta from this this 
question so this is the concept of the trigonometric functions now one more question that is also a very good question of trigonometry like suppose a question is given cos square pi by 8 plus cos square 3 pi by 8 plus cos square 5 pi by 8 plus cos square 7 pi by 8 this is given in the question saying find the value now please be careful about the angle see this is a radian angle is given 5 pi by 8 7 pi very important pair of the angle pi by 8 3 pi by 8 5 pi by 8 7 pi by 8 you will see odd multiple of 1 3 5 and 7 so how to break down how to write this is the smaller one this is the smaller one this is bigger and this is bigger there are four angles so cos square pi by 8 as it is cos square 3 pi by 8 as it is now this question can be solved in a very smartly way since we know that there is a identity is cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 theta and theta the ang it is cos if somehow sin is ca can be occur here and the same angle of sin is occur like cos square pi by 8 is somewhere sin square pi by 8 is appear so we can treat it as that is 1 so this is cos square and how to generate how to generate cos to be sin like pi by 2 minus something or plus something we can break down in this manner this pi by 2 can be write pi by 2 plus pi by 8 so when we take lcm it's 8 so 2 4 and pi this can be write in this manner again this cos square this 7 pi by 2 can be write pi by 2 pi by 2 then how to write this pi by 2 7 pi by 2 can be write what to break so this can be write you can write in this manner also pi minus pi by 8 it gives 7 pi by 8 so cos square pi by 8 plus cos square 3 pi by 8 so it is cos 90 plus theta 90 plus theta that is lie in which quadrant Second quadrant, second not containing sine, so we will put minus ninety ratio change. It is sine pi by eight whole square like this. Now, one more thing: if uh, this angle, you will see this angle. Here it is pi by eight. So pi pi by eight is breaking in this pi by eight term. It is given three pi by eight. So if you write like pi by two plus three pi by eight. So when we take LCM eight, four, and three, seven pi by eight. So according to these smaller angles, in these smaller angles, we can break down to these angles. Now again, it is cos ninety plus theta second quadrant. Me, so minus sine theta. Theta means three pi by eight, and put the square. So it is cos square pi by eight. It is cos square three pi by eight. Square and it is minus become plus sine square pi by eight. Again, square it is a plus sine square three pi by eight. So we will see cos square three pi by eight sine square three pi by eight gives one. Cos square pi by eight sine square pi gives one. So answer is coming two. So this is a good question. On the same concept, there is one more question. One plus cos pi by eight. One plus cos three pi by eight. One plus cos Five pi by eight, one plus cos seven pi by eight. You can solve, and when you simplify, you get the answer is one by eight. So, in the same manner, pi by eight, three pi by eight, as it is, five pi by eight can be break down like this, seven pi by eight break down like this. Then further simplify to evaluate and find the value. The answer is coming one by eight. So you can solve. So this is the small revision. We'll get the worksheet. to solve and post your queries on the google classroom so that we can give the solution to you also thank you very much for today's class please solve the mcq questions on the google classroom okay thank you